now I did a video talking about the idea of Ben Shapiro running for president in 2020. It is indeed something that a lot of conservatives, especially Shapiro fans, want to see happen. They think that he's going to be, you know, very unique, even though he's not. And the fact that he's a very radical right winger and that that would result in him losing general elections. Now, there's somebody who does videos on hypothetical elections. And one of the hypothetical elections that this channel decided to do was a Ben Shapiro versus Kyle Kalinske election. Now, Kyle Kalinske is the host of Secular Talk, and, you know, he's definitely very big and has a very big audience and is the kind of face of, uh, of um, you know, uh, left, left libertarianism. And what you essentially have here is this guy claiming that Ben Shapiro would defeat Kyle Kalinske in, a, in an election, which is absolutely patently false. Um, and I want to talk about this because it was kind of interesting to me personally. Now he was even giving he was even giving Ben Shapiro Rust Belt states over Kyle Kalinske, which is absolutely ridiculous. And the video has a bunch of uh, you know dislikes and a bunch of bad uh, responses because he obviously clearly got this completely wrong. You know Rust Belt states are not going to go to Ben Shapiro because he's an advocate of free trade and. You know, what are the people in those Rust Belt states suffering from? Free trade, because their jobs have been shipped overseas. So, the idea that somehow Ben Shapiro would defeat Kyle Kalinske, not only in a, a general election nationwide, but the idea that he would defeat Kyle in those swing states, or not swing states, Rust Belt states, is absolutely ridiculous. Now, recall also, this is something very important, by the way. Recall also that, I, you know, I've done a video about this, but Ben Shapiro actually claims that we should abolish every single social program in the United States. So he says that we should, what he means is we should abolish Medicare, Medicaid, and uh, Social Security, which again is the basis for the livelihoods of millions upon millions of people. Social Security has been in place since Franklin Delano Roosevelt, which was the 1930s. We've, we've had... We've had um, Medicare and Medicaid both since Lyndon B. Johnson in the 1960s. So you're talking regressing years upon years and a sort of radicalism that is not going to appeal to the United States of America. Even Ben Shapiro himself would make this argument because he's made this argument before while talking to Dave Rubin that, you know, people don't want to see their Social Security taken away because, you know, they don't want to hear that. So by his own logic, he would be losing the election. There's no way that Ben Shapiro is going to defeat Kyle Kalinske in an election because he is so radically right wing that we'd essentially be going into a near unfettered capitalism state in which there's basically no social safety net and the government basically plays no role, which has been, you know, kind of the opposite overall trend that we've been going in with, you know, implementing things like Social Security and Medicare. And again, it's literally the basis of millions of people's of livelihoods. So, you know, let me know you guys' thoughts, but it's very clear, in my opinion, that Ben Shapiro would absolutely lose to Kyle Kalinske in a general election nationwide.